This is a list of my top 10 alien invasion movies. I'm doing my top 10s this week. And this today is my top 10 alien invasions. And by that, I mean someone from another planet comes to Earth, probably to do horrors. So E.T. does not make the list because he didn't come here to do anything crazy. Um, so this is my list. In no particular order, number one, Independence Day, ID4. One of Will Smith's best movies. In fact, if you think Will Smith, you probably think Independence Day and Men in Black. This was a great movie. Aliens Come to Earth. Uh, a captain in the Air Force uh, is the premier guy to try to stop him. Him and a scientist work together. Um, Jeff Goldblum. And they got to stop the bad guys. Actually, a really good movie. Second movie, you know, the one after this, eh. But that is my first of ten. Two, Attack the Block. Attack the Block was a really good movie. I had known about it for years, never seen it, but I decided to watch it one night and I was pleasantly surprised. A bunch of kids in England, a bunch of little thugs, um, come across a alien monster and they, they, they give it that work. They give it the business and they kill it. But there's other ones coming that are looking for it and they killed it and they've got it with them and they're taking it around. They don't realize that the other aliens are looking specifically for that alien. So they've got, you know, particles of it on them. So it's looking for them. It's like, you know, sniffing it out and finding it on the kids. And they've got to do their best to avoid these aliens and I guess, you know, kill them or whatever. And it was good. It was well thought out. Uh, I don't even think they had a gun until almost the end of the movie. They were just using like sticks and bats in their wits. You know, don't attack that block. Even if you're from space, you'll get that work. Third one, 10 Cloverfield Lane. 95% of the movie, you're thinking that this guy's a lunatic. There's no, air. what was he talking about? Mine, ain't no monsters out there. Bad air, that's nuts. He's just a crazy person having trauma because he lost his daughter. But at the, at the end of the movie, I mean, it's been out for a few years, so I mean, it's not like I'm support, surprising you or anything. And if I am, fast forward 10 seconds because I'm about to give the ending away. It turns out that there were aliens on Earth. And he wasn't just some crazy, crazy, crazy guy. There were aliens. And then you look back at everything he was doing and you're like, oh, yeah, he was supposed to do that. Most of it. That was a good one. Four, Annihilation. You think about all of the different ways the alien race can attack the Earth. Usually you think about troops. They send in, you know, swarms of alien monsters or, or uh, guys in, you know, plastic uniforms and white stormtrooper suits or something. You think about that. Um, but the way this happened was differently. They basically, basically, put a portion of their world on our world and it slowly started to expand it. So their world was consuming our planet. I mean, how do you fight that? You can't shoot it, blow it up, throw a rock at it, you know, threaten it. It's just a force that's just getting bigger. That was, that was pretty good. It was, it was good in the fact that um, it had a few jump scares, but it was good in the fact that it was cerebral. It made you think about it. Wow, this concept. How do you beat that? Probably can't. That was good. Five. Five shares the spot. Um, the thing. A alien comes to Earth hundreds, maybe thousands of years ago. And gets locked in a block of ice. Some scientists digging, and I think it's Antarctica, come across it and release it. It attacks them and wipes them out. They send a message out for help just before it kills the last one. So some other people come to check it out and see what's going on. You know, it's, I mean, it's Antarctica. Can't really call the police. But some other scientists go there. Me personally, I wouldn't have went there without, like, heavy military. I'd have been like, they're out in the middle of nowhere. 
and there's nothing else out there, but something killed all of them? I ain't going out there. I know something's wrong. You know, my mama raised a lot of things. She raised cane. She raised plants. She didn't raise no fools. I ain't going out there. I know something's wrong. But they went anyway. And um, yeah, it, the monster was still out there waiting for them. The Thing. That was a good movie. It's actually a remake. Um, this one, what I'm thinking about, is a remake of, of the original. This shares a space with Starship Troopers. The reason the Starship Troopers made the list is because it's one of my favorite alien attack movies, but it's not really an invasion because they are trying to get to Earth, but the bugs never actually make it to Earth. So it's an attempted invasion, but I really, really like it. So it made the list. Um, in the future, you know, if you want full citizenship in America, I guess the world, you have to join the military and serve two or three years or something like that. And this guy wants to chase his girlfriend, his girlfriend joined the military. This, um, this other guy that liked her is in the military. They're gonna be in a military class together. So he's like, well, I'm gonna join too and fight bugs. He doesn't really care about the war that much. He just wants to be with his girlfriend, but he's a half wit and he doesn't make it to the class that she makes it to. So now he's stuck in the military fighting aliens for nothing. That sucked. Anyway, um, six, a quiet place. This, the aliens actually made it to Earth in here. In fact, they never really say. These could be aliens, they could be uh, creatures from another dimension, they could be demons. But for what we know watching it, I don't call them aliens. Um, they don't speak. So it's not like they're like, you know, we've come from planet Quasar. They don't speak, so you don't know where they come from. They just suddenly appear on Earth. So they're not necessarily aliens, they're aliens to Earth, but they're not necessarily aliens from another planet. Again, they could be from another dimension. They could be from hell, who knows? But they're here and they are, they are trying to get with everybody. Unfortunately for mankind, um, I guess there was a swarm of them and they attack by sound. Um, something that got me though was the family in question in the movie survived by shooting one of them on the side of the head and it died. So I'm thinking the entire United States military, everybody with that whole Second Amendment rights thing, walking around with guns on their hips, you know, gang bangers, mob guys, Yakuza, all of these people that have guns, everybody got a gun. Some kid with a baseball bat, nobody, nobody before, because they say it's been years, hit one of them things on the side of the head. The military with bombs and explosives. Nobody shot it on the side of the head until this lady did. And then she's like, aha, we have a way to defeat them. I'm like, their heads were there before. And the sides of their heads were probably with their heads. And nobody shot them. Suspend, suspend belief, man, suspend belief. Other than that, it was a pretty good movie. Sorry for the kid. Terrible loss. Number seven, the day the earth stood still. If you think about, if you're old enough to know, or if you've got like Lifetime or something on TV, when you think about alien invasion, this is probably gonna make your top 10 list. Um, an alien race, a coalition of races. Um, they're, in, they're like the United Nations of outer space people. They decide that Earth, after finding out how to split the atom and make nuclear bombs and such, they're like, you know what, those dudes, they're going to blow that planet up. The humans on that planet are going to mess that planet up. It's a good planet, you know. They don't consider, I mean, we consider ourselves to be the dominant race on Earth. But these other aliens are like, nah, not really, because grass lives on Earth and it's been there longer than you. Um, animals are on Earth, they live there. They've been there longer than you. We love all life. Not just you, because you got five fingers, you know, an opposing thumb, and you think you can think. We love all life. 
and you guys are mucking it up for everybody on earth. So we figure we're going to come there, kill all the humans, and let life continue on earth. Maybe another species arise from the ash, or maybe just the ones that are there. In the remake, they go a step further and they're like, you know what? We're going to take samples of these different animals and life on earth because we're going to wipe everything else out. And then we'll bring them back and we'll start all over again. But right now, we're killing everything, man. But either way, it kind of makes sense. If there was a coalition of aliens that were out there and they were checking us out, they, they probably wouldn't dig what's happening. Anyway, number eight, they live. Rowdy Roddy Piper, a professional wrestler, as far as I know, never got a belt, but professional wrestler um, makes a movie about aliens. And he's a bum in this movie, but he gets a hold of these special glasses, man. And with these special glasses, he can see the aliens. They're all over the place. They're all over the world. Some people are human. Some people are aliens, but they're wearing the guise of humans. Some people are humans, and they know about the aliens, but they're working for the aliens. Certain people who become rich and famous and popular in our society are either aliens or humans that are being helped by the aliens. Other humans that know about the aliens have an underground force that are trying to get the aliens off Earth so we can just live our own lives, man. You know, so that's what that's what it's basically about. This movie has the best alley fight of all movies, probably the best alley fight ever. And being a, a relatively unknown movie, it probably has the best catchphrase of any movie ever. Debate me on it. Rowdy Roddy Piper says he busts into a bank and he's got a shotgun and everything. And he's looking at everybody and he sees that some of these people are aliens. And he says, I have come here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. Pause. And I'm all out of bubble gum. And I was like, well, there's only one option left there, Roddy. And he starts shooting people. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I've only come here to do two things. And the one thing is done, so guess what I'm doing? And he gave everybody, you know that. So I was like, man, that, that, was, that was a great line. That was a great, I'm surprised it doesn't get used more. And other, you know, I mean, everybody says, may the force be with you and all that kind of stuff. But that line, I think that was, that was the best line and all of them, movie them. Number nine, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. 1978, there were two after that one and there was one before it, but 1978 to me was the best one. Um, Donald Sutherland and Leonard Nimoy, that, that was a good movie. Aliens come to Earth in pods. Woo! They come to Earth in pods, these pods, you know, while you're sleeping, the aliens, um, they must have come like as aliens at first because somebody started putting the pods next to people. But the pod would attach to your flesh and your body and it would suck the life force from you and it would go into the pod and the pod would become an entity that looked just like you. It replaced you. So you would crumble up in the dust. But this alien now had your form, and it would do whatever you normally did during the day. Then at nighttime, it would take pods, and it would put them near other people. That's why I say the aliens had to come there first and put some pods down so that the transformed aliens could start doing it. But anyway, it starts happening all over the place. This was a good movie, because how do you stop that? I mean, who do you know? How do you know somebody's really a human or really an alien? You got to ask them questions or watch them or something. If they're an alien, they know you're human now and they're going to get you. Great ending to this movie, too. And number 10, Predator. Yeah, Predator, Predator was good. Predator 2 was okay. The rest of the Predators, not really, except for the, you know Alien versus Predators, but not really on Earth, but from one and two was on Earth. The Predators come to Earth. They're a race of hunters from another world. They come to Earth and they decide, I'm gonna hunt, it's hunting season, during the hottest 
times of the year in the hottest places in the world they show up and they pick what they would consider uh, the top predators you know people with guns and training and tough guys gangbangers uh, military mobsters yakuza whatever they go against those guys and they compete against them they try to kill them and they see if they can hunt them down kill them snatch their spines from their head and back and use it as a trophy that would be horrible but that was essentially what a predator was about that was a good movie this is my top 10 alien invasion movies do you have a different list let's talk about it in the comments and as always if you like the video if you like the content subscribe and then like Popcorn,